Hey guys, Flaming Super Panda here with my third video. And for this video, I decided that I would show you the program SpriteCraft, which I used to create my Mortal Kombat logo in my first video. So the download link is in the description. And the first thing you want to do is open the SpriteCraft.jar file with Java Platform SE Binary. You might have to search for it because it's not always in the default programs to run it. So once you have SpriteCraft opened and you see this screen, there are several different things you can do. You can browse for a photo, set the max height of blocks that it uses to create the image, or you can set it to no max height. Also you can click in options and check and uncheck blocks that you want or don't want the system to use when creating the image. So I'm going to go ahead and open the logo for Mortal Kombat and I'm going to show you how this works. You click create Minecraft blueprint and then down here it tells you how many blocks of each type you need and then how to use them. Now there are two things you can do. You can save the image, which just saves this file up here, or save the schematic, which saves a schematic file, which you can import the schematic into MC Edit and add it to your world like that. But that would be cheating and takes out all the fun. So yeah, that's basically all SpriteCraft is. And I'm going to be using it for many more complex wool art creations in the future. So thanks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you guys next time.